Hello, we are still broadcasting live from the uh, Forum Entreprendre de la Culture here in Nantes and I'm uh, together with Paolo Montemuro. Hi. Uh, hi, Paolo, you just uh, held a workshop about yep. this uh, a creative project canvas you're going to be telling us a bit more about, but yes. first, um, please tell us a bit more about yourself and uh, where you work. Okay, uh, I am the director of Matera Hub. Matera Hub is an organization that is supporting creative and cultural industries in the south of Italy, actually in a city that will be next year European capital of culture, the city of Matera. Right, and how did you come up with the idea of uh, this canvas? This canvas has been developed in the framework of a European project, so European Commission funded us to work together with partners from seven other countries and Nantes was represented by Samoa in the partnership. Uh, the focus of the project was to give to uh, the cultural and creative sector representatives better entrepreneurial competencies, so to help them develop those skills to make their work more sustainable, their project more sustainable from an economic point of view. Right, and um, this reminds me of the business model uh, Correct. canvas. Correct. Uh, what is often called BMC, uh, that is uh, widely used for startups to describe their business model. Yeah. Uh, why did you feel you had to come up, or, or what, what was the reason uh, you wanted to come up with a different model, and um, how is it better for a cultural projects, and uh, what was wrong with the other one? <laughs> Well, uh, actually, correct. This is the, we, are, we started from the business model canvas, uh, but when we wanted to talk with artists and cultural operators about business, about economy, and we were using terminology coming from the business model canvas, they were scared. Okay. So, <laughs> for them, it was very difficult to accept the economic uh, vocabulary. So first of all, we did the work of translation. We started to use a terminology that was more close to the uh, idea of culture and artistic project. And then we liked the idea of the canvas, which is very visual and gives the possibility to just work on blocks. Uh, the canvas is a very useful tool to help them to reflect on their projects from the past, from the present and maybe for the future. And uh, the idea was that we needed to give them a very simple tools and we have to give them workshops where there was a lot of interaction for them to talk about uh, topics like how to make your project sustainable. And this was the best way to make it uh, uh, more accessible for them. Uh, it was the best way to make them really involved in what we wanted to do because a traditional training would have worked with them. You, you're talking about sustainability. Uh, does it mean that uh, money and profits are less important in this canvas? <laughs> uh, well, we are talking about values that for cultural, uh, artistic and creative projects are very important that can be also related to the financial values, but it involves a lot of social things, uh, involves a lot of uh, emotional elements. So for artists and cultural people, there are uh, some other elements that can that guide their uh, uh, work uh, which are not necessarily connected to finance of course finance and sustainability is very important yes because even artists have to eat right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah they have to survive <laughs> if we want them to have the right competencies to be uh, to develop projects that could be more sustainable and able to develop economy and now we are talking a lot about how cultural and creative uh, industries are growing in Europe and how they are creating jobs. So it's very important to give them uh, the um, financial and structural solidity to do this. Yeah. So I see, for instance, that in a normal, in the traditional business model canvas, here we have cost structure and here we have revenue streams. And in this model, yeah, we can't really see, we have short-term gains and losses and here long-term rewards. So what would typically go there? This is actually one of the most difficult part of the hmm. canvas. Because okay. Spot uh, on. <laughs> in our um, time, it's very difficult to think of something that will happen more than in, in one year. 
Uh, and so we try to focus on what benefit could come from a project in the long-term perspective that maybe are not connected to revenues, financial revenues that can get immediately, but are more related to a uh, project that can have a vision in the future. So we want them to think a little more on how the things that they are doing today can have an impact uh, in the future, maybe in two years, three years. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all the canvas is based on a self-reflection or on a group reflection activity. So we give them the space and the time to uh, really think of what they are doing, how they do things with the people around them, and also the impact that what they do have in the community. So it is um, a canvas that is, that is meant for working. I see all these pastets here, so yeah. people come up with ideas and they put they pastets and then they take the, 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 the old ones off and that's how the project evolves, yeah. right? Or yeah, yeah. is there a way to fill it in? Well, uh, as for the traditional canvas, uh, usually there are different areas where you can start. Of course, we like to start from the values because we think they are very, very important for the cultural and creative sectors. But there is also this area that is related to the impact of the activities with the others. So the people that give us feedbacks or people that support yes. or are critics in mm -hmm. a certain point of view and how the cultural work and the project are accessible for others, so how open are the, the things that we are doing. Uh, this part is more traditional, it's like the time needed, the action needed, the resources okay. needed to do things, but always the approach is not to just list them, it's to reflect, because we want at the end of a session uh, to have the people to be able to uh, keep on working on a project or just say, okay, this is not what I have to do now. There are some much better things that I can do. And we want people to start work together because our workshop is always a way for the creative community of a place to be together. Maybe they don't know each other and when they come to our workshop, it's the first opportunity for them to build cooperation. I have one, well actually I have two last questions okay. for you. Uh, the next two last one is, who comes to your workshops and what type of cultural enterprises uh, come to you for advice and guidance? Does it apply to any type of cultural activity? The, um, the artistic, cultural and creative sector is very wide. Uh, we like to work more with uh, artists and cultural organization rather than the creative world because if you think at video game uh, developer, they are much more oriented towards a startup. So they have a business model that is more for the traditional canvas. It's more an industry. Yeah, it's an okay. industry. They talk about profit. They talk about investors. Cultural enterprise do not have people that want to invest on them. Think about a theater company, which is a company because as employees and pay taxes. Yeah. But they need, of course, a certain sustainability and they need to think of themselves as a company. So mm. uh, we work a lot with artists, we work a lot with uh, cultural organization, we work a lot with managers, cultural managers that want to facilitate the process. So we train them in order to use the canvas with other people so that they can help us multiply the effects of the canvas. Okay. So now my last question to you. Okay. Um, let's say, uh, in our viewers, there are people who might be interested in this tool. So how would they be able to uh, approach it? Is there a website? Is, yes. it, um, is it free to download? Uh, do you hold workshops through friends? How does it work? Uh, first thing, very easy, www.creativeprojectcanvas.com. Right. It's the website where they can download the canvas for free and they can download a manual which helps them in playing with the canvas. We called it the work playbook because there is also some gaming involved, of course. Uh, serious gaming. Serious gaming, yes, yes. And uh, uh, the other thing is that we try as much as possible to organize local workshops. So from time to time, we have the possibility to travel around Europe of our partners organize workshops. So there is a list of uh, organization in Europe that do this. And the other things, of course, it's in Creative Commons, so open license, and we like people to adapt it. And this is just an anticipation for the future. We are working on uh, the Creative Project Canvas for the internationalization of cultural organization. So how to access international networks.
Okay, so maybe we see you again for the next steps of uh, this canvas. Yeah. Thank yeah. you a lot, Paolo, for you. uh, sharing your thoughts with us and uh, enjoy your day in Nantes. Um, I will. See you soon. Okay, Bye. Thank you.